Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from Mr. Campbell Rocks. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new Google Form using some of the pre-made Google Form templates. This is to save you so much time and energy. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that you'll want to do is open a new tab in Chrome or whatever your favorite browser is. And we're going to go to our drive. So when we get to Google Drive, we'll have all these options over on the left, you can see here. So we're going to click on new and we're gonna scroll down to forms and you'll see this little carrot here. We have a couple of options, a few options. We have a blank form, a blank quiz or from template. So we'll click on from template and depending on your domain, it may start you out here and it'll say, oh, you don't have any templates in your organization yet. You can actually create templates and share them within your organizations, which is fantastic. Google has also given us a bunch in this general area. And what Google has done is they've actually put them into subcategories of work, personal, and education. Obviously, I work in education. Uh, we want to do a quick exit ticket, assessment, worksheet, or course evaluation. Now, the nice thing about this is it saves you time so you don't have to start off with a blank form. You can copy and paste your questions, your evaluation questions, your worksheet, um, your exit ticket information there. So we'll just jump on exit ticket. So when I click on exit ticket here, the form is already pre-made. So when it loads here, I have the option then to go through and edit any of the questions or information that I want today. Um, and so you'll see here, right, um, that they're adding new information. But this exit ticket is before you leave class today, answer the following questions. So you're going to put in your name. And I always like to do first name, last name so I can sort out information. So I would actually duplicate this question. Email. There is some settings in Google Forms where you can collect the email from your specific school domain automatically so they don't have to write this in here. But we have three questions, right, where they just ask simple kind of fill in, short answer, long answer text. What's one important thing that you learned in class today? Do you feel prepared for today's lesson? Why or why not? Or did you feel prepared, excuse me? And then what would you help make today's lesson more effective? So it's three questions, a name, and this gives you information right as students leave class. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can use exit tickets in your classroom to modify instruction, to reteach or scaffold or whatever. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this form itself. You can add additional questions after here and then go through and make these required. Obviously this is something that I would want to do because I want every student to do this. You could also use this as an entry ticket. So when students come in, they could ask questions about um, the lesson coming up that you could answer during the lesson to make sure that you, you covered. So once all of this is done, you would then send this out. You could share it on Google Classroom. You can send it through email. You can throw it in Canvas or all of the, the LMS programs that you have. You would just create the link here. I usually like to shorten them. It's just easier so I can send that out maybe in a QR code or something like that. All of that information, once it's done, uh, when you get responses, will start to show up here and it will give you the data and those pie charts and all that information. So just a quick and easy tip on how to create Google Forms from Google Form templates. If you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.